hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Lewis Clark, aka Sonic Yoda. I run SegaDriven.com, and you're back with another episode of Shooting Hedgehogs in a Barrel, where we take a look at old fan games. So today we're taking a look at Knuckles Millennium 2, which I remember distinctively playing loads when I first got into Sonic Fan Games HQ and their plethora of games that were available at the time. So um, yeah, I remember what I remember liking about this quite a lot was the fact that it used uh, Knuckles Chaotix sprites, and at that point I hadn't played Knuckles Chaotix, so it was quite it's quite interesting seeing those sprites in action. So yeah, let's uh, let's go and have a look and see what this is like. Oh my God, word art! <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Okay. So how's this? Oh, okay. Right. So yeah, this is very um, twitchy, quite quick actually. Um, yeah, I mean, this, it, it functions well enough, actually. It's not too bad. Um, just realised the stage is um, just, a, just a foreground from Angel Island with a background from Mushroom Hill. No effort has been made to sort of change the graphics. And I boss straight away, and it appears you just sort of have to get the rhythm and uh, hit him when he's not firing those. But not like that, basically. And he's done. Oh, and I lost my rings. Yeah, if I remember correctly, the the um, you're, you're not fighting Dr. Robotnik in this. It's sort of like a mecha Knuckles. I still do like the older uh, Knuckles Chaotix fights. There's a wonderful sort of lovely shaded chunkiness to them, which um, I don't think a lot of other Sonic games have managed to do quite well. Right, it's Lost City Zone. More word art. Oh, that's never going to get old, that is. So what are we in for now? Okay, so this is Oil Ocean and Launch Face Soda in the background there. So yeah, I mean, this isn't anything special. It's quite playable actually because they've um, they've designed the levels around the limitations of the engine. So uh, they're all sort of basic block platforming, uh, which means yeah, it's it's quite easy to navigate and you don't sort of clip through the um, through the foregrounds in any way because you're not dealing with massive inclines or anything like that. Uh, oh, how about? God, that's a lot of rings. Do you lose all your rings? You don't like have a 20 ring limit like you do in the originals. That's a bit mad. Well, at least it gives me an opportunity to get most of them back. Um, so yeah, <laughs> not really interacting with these curves very well, are we? Oh, I'm fan games. Thank God for the advent of things like Sonic World Day. Eh? Right. Oh, hang on, another boss. So we're getting a boss at the end of every stage. Bloody hell, that's a bit um, ambitious. And it would appear that they all seem to be of the uh, move backwards and forwards and shoot down mechanic. I don't know if they're all like that, but this, uh, this is definitely similar to the first one. <laughs> a little bit easier because I don't have to worry about timing. Get him on the backwards and forwards. Yeah, that's definitely a mecha knuckles, so it's got like a metal mouth and black eyes. Now we wait as the uh, capture comes from the sky. So yeah, this this ain't great. It's it's showing its age, let's put it that way. Um, and it is playable, don't get me wrong, but um, there's nothing special to it. It's really not adding any of its own gimmicks. It's uh, pretty much standard Sonic fan game in affair. More bloody word art! Um, right, what blend have we got now? So this is our uh, ice cap and is that uh, lava reef when it gets uh, cold? Oh, hang on, that that right that no, that's Hidden Palace. Yeah, the two stages join each other, so they do share graphics. But yeah, so yeah, I don't know. Um, there's not really a lot else to see here. I mean, should we uh, at least go ahead with the? The next boss, I suppose, and see if it does anything different other than just moving back and forth and shooting down. Oh, I just oh yeah, these things, yeah, the the, uh, the spiky balls orbiting it should probably do me damage, but no, nope. I am invincible. Right. Oh, we're also rocking midis as well. Good old midi soundtrack. Keeps the file size down, don't you know? That's generally why most people use them. Right, another boss. 
And guess what? It's moving backwards and forwards and shooting at me! Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? I'm sure that was completely worth it. And it's doing the same old thing of, uh, I just have to sort of find the rhythm and then hit as it alternates. Yeah, nothing special to this, really. Um, I do I do like that Knuckles fight, it's got to be said. I love the old Chaos fights, they're lovely to look at. But, um, yeah, there's just nothing really, there's no sort of creativity that's gone into this. It's, uh, oh, have we, have we frozen? Have we died? <laughs> that's a good end to things, isn't it? Well, there you go, that was Knuckles Millennium 2. God knows what the first one's like, and there's a game-breaking bug for you. Uh, thank you very much for watching Shooting Heads on the I don't know. Get my words out properly. Shooting hedgehogs in a barrel. Thank you very much for watching it. Um, I've been Lewis Clark, aka Sonic Yoda. I run SegaDream.com. This ring noise is getting on my nerves. And you should probably tune in next time when we play another old Sonic fan game from the past. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Ow, my ears.